Vinyl records are back. This is raw materials. Well, sort of. Instead of RPMs, vinyl is spinning into ART. The thick vinyl we use for clocks and wall art and things that don't need to be manipulated. And for the thinner vinyl, we use for laser cutting and bracelet making. Artists are rescuing vinyl records from the trash to create not only functional works of art, but a greener environment. It is made of polyvinyl chloride, which is a particular problem when it ends up in landfills. It doesn't biodegrade. Uh, it can stay in a landfill for hundreds, if not a thousand years. Uh, it can contaminate groundwater should it break apart. Patrick Cherko, owner of a Brooklyn-based company, says the new groove of vinyl appeals to an audiophile's love of nostalgia and a millennial's love of music. This product that you either have on your arm or in your pocket or on your wall has, has already had dozens of people sitting around it and slowing down and enjoying it in a whole other pastime. I'm just giving that same music lover another way to like enjoy their music. Jericho says not all records make the cut. If, if I get a Beatles album, that's going home to my wife. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go and cut a Beatles, unless it's really bad and like kids scratched it out. In that case, even an icon will rock around the clock. Joseph Frederick, Associated Press, New York.